Okay, I'm gonna quickly go through five circuits, not really circuits, but deals here that um, I hope to clarify what difference, um, potential differences in how would you measure voltages in general in a circuit. So this question, if you get this question um, as is, this is a 3 volt battery and a 2 volt battery and they are in series. And if I were to put the multimeter with the ground on V1, and therefore I'm going to call, I'm, I'm answering question A, uh, circuit A there, V1 0, then um, V2 would be 3 volts above that, and V3 would be 2 volts above V2. Now the catch, the only catch here is if I were to ask you what's V2 3, this means V2 minus V3, it's 3 minus 5, it would be minus 2 volts. If I were to ask V3 2, this would be 2 volts. Now let's do the same thing with uh, circuit B. I'm going to call, this time, I'm going to call, again, V1 0 volts, and therefore V2 is going to be 3. But now watch, this 2 volts has the plus on the side and the minus on the side. This means that node V2 is 2 volts above node V3. So this minus this needs to be 2 volts. So I conclude that V3 is 1 volt. And here's the deal, V2 minus V3 equals 2 volts. And if I knew that V2 was 3, this guy needs to be a 1. Let's go to the third circuit. I'm going to again call V1 my 0. Actually, to make things simple, I'm going to call 0 on V1 in all uh, my circuits except for E, where I'm going to call V3 0. Because these two are the same circuit. So this guy is 0. Therefore, this V2 is minus 10. If this is 0, this is 30 volts above it. So V3 is 30 volts. And this is 0, and this is 20 volts below it. So V4 is minus 20. And there is no button. There are no node, nodes uh, labeled V. So labeled V4 or 5. So now the purple circuit. I'm always starting on where my 0 volts is. So this is 0. This is 5 volts above it. So it's 5 volts. And now you see, I think to myself, this is 5. And this is going to be whatever it says here below. So basically, I could say this is 5 volts. And this is going to be uh, V2 minus V3 is going to be whatever number the problem gave me, which is minus 4. And now I know V2, which is 5 minus V3 equals minus 4 and therefore V3 equals minus 4 minus 5 which is minus 9 and therefore V3 equals 9 volts and now this guy is 9 so V4 minus 9 equals 3 and therefore V4 equals 12 volts so this is 12 and now, V5 minus V4, I don't even have a space here, V5 minus V4 equals whatever number is in here, minus 2. So V5 equals minus 2 plus 12, which is 10. And now this is the last, last circuit. Hang in there with me. This V3 is 0. V4 minus V3, and I'm calling V4 minus V3 because this is plus and this is minus. V4 minus V3 equals whatever number it says here, which is 3 volts. And therefore, I'm going to call V4 3 volts. V5 minus V4 equals minus 2. V5 equals, this minus 3 goes plus 3, plus 1. Now 
Now this here was a minus 4 when I had not erased it. Now watch, v2 minus v3 equals minus 4. And therefore, v2 equals minus 4. And now, v2 minus v1 needs to be 5. And therefore, this is minus 9. So this is 5 volts below this. These are the answers.